Like many provinces, Western Highlands has not completely received its PSIP for 2017. Last year, they only received 2 million kina of the 10 million kina pledged to them. This uh, acute we have just presented is in two components, one um, the PSG and um, the PSIP. Uh, both put together is about 10.5 million. Uh, but we only received 2.8 million of which um, we were able to uh, put that into good use for especially um, uh, impact uh, projects in our province. Nevertheless, Western Highlands Provincial Governor Pais Wingti says financial constraints have not stopped them from carrying on their development plans. According to the Department of Implementation and Rural Development, the province is up to date on its acquittals reports being one of the few provinces in the country to do so. Despite the balance still owing, the province will continue to focus on delivering quality education and rebuild its infrastructure for adequate service delivery. We are trying to promote quality education by way of um, promoting 35 per teacher in a class. And um, uh, we started off uh, when uh, the right honorable Pius Minty came in in 2012 with only 12 high schools, high secondary schools. But as I'm speaking, we already have uh, 32 high secondary schools in the province. And that has already created um, space in our high secondary schools uh, with um, uh, the number that is required uh, per teacher student ratio, that's 35 to one teacher, and we have achieved that. And now we are looking at tertiary colleges. We are just uh, negotiating with the Department of Education for tertiary colleges to also be set up in our provinces. So Stacy Yalo, National, MTV News.